Greetings, adventurers, and welcome back to my Skyrim modding journey. Today, we're starting out with showing you four mods that I installed yesterday off camera. They are Tactical Vault Heim, House Rule, Wallbringer for Souls Time, Guards Armor Replacer, Civil War Patch, and Guards Armor Replacer for House Carls. Uh, they were all very simple, obviously. Uh, Tactical Vault Heim is part of a suite that supports um, the whole Lawbringer thing. And uh, you can see here, it changes the area so that this, because uh, as the mod author points out, this is in a very like important strategic place <laughs> for uh, Whiterun Hold uh, between them and Riften. Um, and I mean, if uh, if someone from East March or Winterhold was to invade too, it would probably be through this pass. <laughs> Um, I'm not even sure if there is like a northern pass into White Run, or if they'd have to go around. I'm not sure, but uh, anyways, regardless, very important. So it's cool that this has been turned into a fortress, and uh, uh, that it can be claimed and saved, and then you can put people here. And every time you walk through here, there won't be some dumb, silly person <laughs> telling the Dragonborn to give them fifty gold or whatever. House rule. Uh, it, it's only like three places, I think, but it essentially adds. A place for each of these factions that you can claim for them. Guards are only place for Civil War patch. Uh, apparently, by default, like after the Civil War, the guards would start wearing storm cloak and uh, or, or imperial armor, depending. Uh, so this just makes sure that your guards are still wearing the local city guard armor, which wouldn't, you know, because that that wasn't at least in the base game. It wasn't tied to uh, which faction you were. It was a local. You know, like a local police force thing. So that's cool. And uh, House Carls, uh, it gives all the House Carls uh, the guards armor for whichever hold they're from. And, you know, I'm a big fan. It looks awesome. <laughs> and might, might get me to use the House Carls occasionally when, when my story, uh, when it makes sense. So yeah, those were all easy to install. Now what uh, we are adding is Nord... War UA's uh, race armor expansion, this uh, Elven Blades greatsword and sword replacer, and then we're adding a couple things from more loot miscellaneous. Because yeah, I still want the uh, item distribution stuff from these two sections, hybrid loot and item distribution. As I covered previously, I'm now going to use uh, enemy re-leveler and, you know, possibly to run leveled Skyrim for the whole unleveling experience. And specifically what I like about this one is it adds these two armor sets on top of uh, the vanilla elven armor. And these look actually like I light armor, whereas this looks like heavy armor. I don't remember if I said this previously, but in my game I plan to balance it so that light armor is not like an alternative playstyle choice. It's just going to be worse. <laughs> heavy armor is better, you know, in, in real life history. As soon as people could like afford, even like basic soldiers could afford to wear plate armor, they did <laughs> because it's the because it is just the best like armor that we developed at the time as far as coverage and and it being light. Because if you haven't seen, there's a bunch of YouTube videos about how real plate armor is not that heavy and how you can get up on horses by yourself and do even like cartwheels and somersaults and stuff. So, yeah, in my game and it, it doesn't really change anything, right? Because like especially with bandits or or whatever, uh, or with soldiers. But essentially, during early and high medieval times, you know, wealthier people and higher tier soldiers will have better armor, heavy armor, and people who can't afford that will just have light armor. They'll just have gambeson and a chainmail shirt and a helmet, whatever else. So, and with uh, Proteus, you can permanently change the uh, stats of whole armor sets if you want to and so i'm going to change this specific armor set uh to be heavy armor and then these ones will be just two different versions of light armor essentially and uh yeah so then the elves will have heavy armor and especially in the context <laughs> of this being heavy uh it just looks cooler to me because it just always did look silly like i understand there's you know fantasy metals and stuff and that this is light technically by default but uh It'd be nice for it to be, you know, for it to maintain it being like lighter weight than other heavy armors as like what makes it distinct. Uh, but this will still be my heavy armor versus this being the, the light armor. 
Um, and then, yeah, I'm going with the curved version here of the normal sword and the great sword. And then, yeah, I'm going with the uh, this curved version of the sword replacers. I don't know if that's a thing. I know the Dunmer, and especially the the Morag, Morag, Morag Toll, whatever they're called, uh, use ebony weapons and that they have that whole curved aesthetic. So I don't know if that's like a thing that elves in other games have typically used curved weapons or whatever, but with this, I'm essentially going to make that a thing, that the elven weapons are, are curved versus human weapons that tend to be straight. So yeah, let's get those started. I'm uh, pretty sure I made sure I had all the requirements and stuff. Yeah. Oh, and while it's loading, also the uh, also adds light orc armor, which so now there's going to be light and heavy elven armor in my game and light and heavy orc armor. So that's cool. because again, so essentially among the orcs, you know, the novices and the, the less tested are going to not have as good a gear and the ones who have been more successful will have heavy armor. Race armor expansion installed. Now this one is a replacer, and I already have a replacer with Lean Wolf's better shaped weapons, so if I understand science, I should just be able to manage the rules so that this comes after. Okay, good. That's a good start. File conflicts. Curved Elven Blades replacer. No. After. See, it, it, I'm assuming it just doesn't know, which I, I want, but yeah, it changes the sheath too, so I would definitely want that after. And that should be all conflicts. Cool. And then, yeah, the only requirement we need is unofficial Skyrim patch for item distribution. We're not getting uh, these other ones here. More loot miscellanea hybrid loot. And I hope this does it even as good as I want it to, because I don't intend on even having generic enchanted weapons. I just want to use, like, the uniques and the artifacts just to make them seem even more. Because when there's, like, you know, generic fire abilities and stuff, it kind of makes it harder for uniques to be unique, <laughs> if that makes sense. Yeah, because if you can get like a dozen different bows and swords and stuff that all have a fire enchantment or and you know, there's already silver swords, uh, it can kind of limit how cool Dawnbreaker is, even if it is like more powerful, because it just makes it seem less unique, you know, and I don't have anything that'll do that specifically that like removes enchanted generic items from the level list or whatever, but I intend to essentially just ignore them. And as far as like when I do videos and stuff, if I see one, I will just literally pause my recording, take it out and then <laughs> play it like it uh, like it wasn't there. I guess the exception would be because uh, the other one, uh, we got more loot miscellanea done. The ex uh, exception would be, I guess, uh, since one of these makes it so that everything glass and above is hand placed and only found in specific places. If those happen to have some kind of enchant on them, since they're already like higher tier weapons, one of my characters finds it and it seems like it would really fit their character, then, you know, I'll probably make an exception. But generally, I don't want my people to just have a generic fire bow, fire sword, that kind of thing. All right. Well, we've got those installed. Uh, the only thing I'm really going to check is uh, that these replacers are, or this is an expansion. So we're going to look for that armor set. I guess I actually need to know what they're called so I can look it up. Thalmor. Yeah. And uh, the other one's a replacer, so I should just be able to look up the swords and make sure they're in-game appropriately. Oh, yeah. And I guess I'm going to go take a look at uh, Voltime. Help. Thalmor. Player.add item. Foxtrot 0. Alpha. 0, 6, 8. Bravo. Ooh. That's pretty neat. I guess just make sure we still have Elvin also. 8, 9, 6, Alpha 3. And here we have Elvin armor. And look, it looks heavy. <laughs> it's not yet, because I don't have Proteus still, but it will be. What was the other one called? Thalmor Elite. Thalmor Elite armor. Oh, there's no E in Thalmor. <laughs> Boxtrot 0, Alpha 0. 6, 8, 4. Then we got... Zero, one, and delta. Zero, one, delta. I'm a Nord wearing Thalmor crap. Strike me down. Love it. And uh, the sword. Help. Elven. Sword. One, three, nine, alpha, one. And help. Elven. Great. Sword. One, three, nine, nine, foxtrot. Ooh, heck yeah. Ah. Oh. 
that is sweet. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, was there, did they add a, sh I think pretty sure, yeah, Thalmor shield. Foxtrot zero off of zero, six, eight, three. Yeah, that looks pretty sweet. Honestly, that looks even better than the other one. I mean, I can see that it even looks, uh, cause let's compare that to the, uh, Elven shield. It doesn't, I mean, this, like, I might, uh, because I like the look of the other, I mean, it, it matches. Yeah, I guess the other one does match better. But part of me almost wants to, like, yeah, I mean, this matches. So I guess that is the thing. But part of me wants to, uh, switch them to make this the heavy shield and the other one the light shield. But it's probably not worth the hassle. Also, I don't personally, as far as I know, think I have a character that'll wear elven heavy armor. But I also don't know for sure. I hope that needs to be brought forward a little. That's fine. Fine for now. All right. What else was I doing? Oh, I need to go see Voltheim. So I guess that just makes going, uh, means we'll go to, uh, the White Run. Is that the B and Barb, I think? Bannered Mare. I probably, <laughs> they are the, uh, the Rohan of, of Elder Scrolls. Now, nah. <laughs> ooh, sneaky. Give me a ring. Elite armor, elite boots, elite armor. <gasps> There's a Thalmor in your mist, run away! Oh, little, uh, need some dino load stuff, it looks like. Possibly. Uh, yeah, it is. Wow. Oh, you know what? Sure. <laughs> that way I can just take a look around real quick without having to kill all of you. Oh, come on! I just gave you money. Oh, it does look a lot cooler. There's an upper and lower bridge. Yeah, come on. Let's go. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Oh, you. <laughs> well, this place is pretty dope now. I like it a lot. All right. Well, I guess that'll do it for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.